If you want to get rid of all of your difficulties, depression, suffering, and unpleasant situations, Neville Goddard says you must modify your concepts because they are making you suffer. Learn in this video how to eliminate negative influences and bring about positive change in your life. As we release further videos that follow up on this subject, do consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. Okay, so let's begin. Since we currently inhabit a society that operates outside of the spiritual law, we tend to look outside of ourselves for answers when our desires aren't met. This, in turn, might bring forth further worries and difficulties, since every concept eventually has to be materialized. Neville Goddard argues that whatever you give your attention to grows into reality. Therefore, if you constantly blame other people for your difficulties, eventually those difficulties will become the cause of your issues. Common targets of blame are the state, society at large, external forces, and even parents. But the truth is that you, of all others, are not to blame for anything that has happened or will happen in your life or anywhere else. To stop placing blame on others or on oneself, you must grasp the idea of I amness, which holds that nothing outside of your own consciousness or awareness can be held accountable for what happens in your life. It's easy to see why people are quick to blame external factors for their problems given the prevalence of authoritarian faiths and the domineering nature of our society. When they can think of no one else to blame, believers in an external God turn to God himself. But the law quickly determines that nobody is to blame, including ourselves, because we are ignorant. In Neville Goddard's view, there is nothing more solid than yours and my own consciousness. All there is, in his view, is awareness, and that is the only thing that can be said to have caused anything. You need not hold anyone else, including yourself or God, responsible for the state of the world. Rather, you need to look no further than your own consciousness. What you wish for others will have an effect on you, as there is no divide between us and the things we manifest. It is impossible to have direct experience of anything beyond the confines of your current state of consciousness. What you believe yourself to be, Neville Goddard says, you already are. Neville Goddard referred to the universe as the shadow world because it reflects our thoughts and beliefs, but lacks will and consciousness. You had to make your current situation real because it existed only in your head. Although you did not intentionally create your unfortunate circumstances, you nonetheless brought them into existence by the unbridled use of your vivid imagination. I'll paraphrase a passage from Neville Goddard's book. When you and I genuinely become conscious of becoming Christ, we too will straighten the arms of the withered and resurrect the dead hopes of men. We will do all that we could not when we felt restricted by our family tree. There is a chance that Jesus, in his fourth dimensional self, will survive even if John, in his third dimensional self, loses his head or his concentration. In his talk titled No One to Alter But Oneself, he describes how letting go of our limiting beliefs from the past is like dying in our John the Baptist self from the third dimension and rising 
in our Jesus self from the fourth. Neville Goddard argues that in order to acquire the pearl of great worth, one must abandon all of their beliefs, accept that they are God, and cast off all secondary causes. Avoid putting your faith in the shadow realm. It's an illusion based on the third dimension, while our true home is the fourth dimension we create in our minds. Your imagination is who you truly are. The material world in three dimensions is irrelevant because it is a thing of the past, a mere shadow and no longer alive. To give your power away to a tarot card reader because you think they can tell you what to do or expect is like waking up to the thought that you are the operant power and letting go of all secondary reasons that you believe in. It also demonstrates that you recognize the differences between yourself and your surroundings. You surrender your God-given authority once you allow yourself to believe that anything or anyone is more potent than you. According to Neville Goddard, I am is not concerned in man's opinion. All its interest lies in your convictions about yourself. What do you say of the I am within you? Can you answer and say I am Christ? Your answer or degree of understanding will decide the place you occupy in life. Do you honestly think that life, your true self, will cause the ideas to arise in your world and that you will have to live with them as though they were real? But you would be unable to blame anyone since the world and everything in it are figments of your own imagination? When you finally understand this, there's no stopping you. If your present circumstances don't line up with your ideal, it doesn't imply it can't become a reality. To get what you want, you might have to travel to another state. It makes sense that the condition outside of awareness that Neville Goddard asserts is possible to encounter is not something that you are aware of. Is it possible for you to encounter the unbelievable? What you imagine is what you will feel. You must put yourself in a position to enjoy health, riches, success, or a loving relationship with your soulmate. The practice of using affirmations, mental images, and other techniques to bring about desired outcomes is known as manifestation. Write a scene and imagine it if you can't picture it in your head or if you're having doubts. You can use affirmations or other techniques to alter your perspective and bring about the changes you seek. If you want to alter your life, you must alter your thoughts and your state of mind. Feeling unhealthy? Try shifting your mindset. In order to alter your current state of poverty, you must alter your current state of mind. Once you reach that point, nothing on earth can stop you from achieving your goals, since what you want was never really taken away from you to begin with. Although you experience each concept, most of what you think you know about the world is actually just a fabrication. To find joy, alter your perspective. Think good thoughts if you want to feel happy. Our minds and thoughts serve as windows through which we perceive the world. Assuming the world is a pleasant place to live increases the likelihood that positive events will occur in our lives. Nothing but bad things will occur if we act like it isn't. You are God according to Neville Goddard's I Amness, because you made the world. Therefore, the best way to attract joy, wealth, tranquility, and fulfillment into your life is to cultivate optimistic thoughts within your mind.
your awareness and consciousness are more significant than the views of others. Pain, anxiety, sadness, and financial difficulties are all things that can be brought on by thinking negatively. Thinking positively and using positive affirmations are powerful tools for making your dreams come true. You're in good health without any discomfort and comfortably off financially. You alone control whether or not your thoughts bring you financial success. Although I believe I provided a helpful examination of Neville Goddard's idea, please understand that we do not recommend all of his views to follow blindly. Only follow those techniques that resonate with you on a deeper level. Since he was a wonderful teacher and influenced millions of people throughout the world, we are examining and discussing his thoughts and methods to thoroughly comprehend his approach and general principles so that we may all make our own opinions. As this video winds down, do share in the comment section your opinion and how you plan to incorporate Neville's teachings in your own life. Please do subscribe to our channel as we bring you more mind-engaging content in the days to come. Thank you for watching.